recording. Hello, everyone. Fourth of July, um, 2020. COVID 2020. Oh, we don't want that word. Oh, I'm not prepared at all. Within this video, I've got this Panasonic XBS shockwave tape recorder. No, tape player that I got at the flea market. I'm not sure exactly what the <coughs> model is, pardon me. But in here it shows a, let's see, get rid of that. I'm not going to show. It says BC7LB95862. I know it's an, there's probably an X number anyways. Uh, it played whenever I put batteries in it, but then now it went south. The batteries within it, or the belt within it, the drive belt went out. So, I didn't know how to take it apart, but I figured it out. This might be a part two, because I need to put the belt back in, but just quickly. See him get you some light and see if it works or not. Um, sorry if it's a bit rough on the video. It's my second time taking this apart, but I know a little better now. You know what to do. Remove these four screws. Oh, also the hinge right here. It's got a screw on this side and a screw on this other side. Those need to come out. Use a small Phillips. Try not to. Yep, you're ruining it. The screw only comes out so far, and then it's the hinge pin. Set that aside. Goes to show how long the screw is, and then the hinge. Take this other side out. This is all within, all the components are within um, a box. This is like a waterproof box, but this is busted. Uh, next. Remove these four screws in the back. They may or may not come out all the way. You might have to just tap them out. Flip them. Flip this guy over. Try not to lose those four screws. Set them aside. Yes, this box on the side says Skechers with Yoga Foam. Is what I'm using as a stand. And it's basically basically it's the same thing to do. You just remove screws and put it in back in the same way you take out. I won't show that part. But now the guts of this, this will have to pop out first coming out this way so be cautious with it oh, should have opened it the other way let's see here how am I gonna do this how am I gonna do this how did I do it the last time I just hoped and, and prayed for it to open up. You're doing it wrong. Oh, there it comes. It comes up and out. 
boot and a boot. And then you got your headphone jack down here. You need to pry out. Use a flathead, Christopher. Try and wiggle it out and it comes out. Try not to ruin that. Oh, I, sh I didn't catch that on video. Darn it, or did I? I'll have to look back. All right, now we got to the belt part. There's enough cable here that this board will move forward and to the right. This one you need to make sure it stays within that home right there. It doesn't go underneath the, me the sheet metal that's right here. Uh, there's the motor. Other videos they show that this comes out, but this is like a direct drive motor with belt. Um, next screw to remove within this model is this one here. this one here this one holds like the whole motherboard on then there's clips here on the side this is just to show you how to remove it and putting it back together don't lose that it will be a different video okay now lift the motherboard up move these clips over to the side board with the other pins will come up and out now you can move that forward and there's all the track for the belt now I'm not sure exactly how it goes in because it was wrapped around this bottom wheel down here 8 minute video it was all wrapped around this bottom wheel. And I know it goes around this one and then this one too, but I'm not sure. This is really the drive wheel. And this is the belt. But that's it. That's it for this video because that's as far as I can get because I don't know how to put this back in. All right, eight minutes in. Uh, Thank you for checking this out. If it's helpful, probably not, but you've got more questions than I do. And I've got a lot of questions about how to put this belt back together. Uh, peace.